In the midst of the Cold War, a secret group called Patriot was formed to protect the Soviet Union from any threat. To accomplish this task, Patriot recruited and genetically altered several individuals from across the former state's territory, forming a team of Soviet superheroes that represented different nationalities. Present days, the Russian army has been working on new technologies to enhance their military capabilities, including advanced robots with artificial intelligence. In a recent demonstration of their new technology, the robots suddenly turned against their own team, attacking and destroying tanks, helicopters, and even a building where the generals and technicians were stationed. The culprit behind this unexpected turn of events was revealed to be none other than Dr. Karatov, a scientist who had worked on a failed project called the Patriot many years ago. He had gained superpowers that allowed him to generate a electricity and control machines, which he used to take the robots with him. The Ministry of Defense called an emergency meeting to deal with the situation and investigate what happened during the Cold War. It was then revealed that Karatov had been in charge of the Innovative Technologies Department of the Patriot Project. His main focus was Module 1, a remote control device designed to control any motorized vehicle. However, the experiment was deemed a failure, and the project was subsequently shut down. Karatov grew envious of another scientist's success in genetic research and decided to steal his colleague's work to conduct his own experiments. His goal was to outdo Victor and gain recognition as a great scientist. However, Karatov's underground experiments went awry, and many innocent people fell victim to his dangerous work. The army, aware of the danger Karatov posed, planned to raid his lab, but the scientist had already transformed the facility into a bomb causing a catastrophic explosion. Everyone believed Karatov had perished in the blast, but he had been transformed by the chemicals released in the explosion into Module 1, a superhuman experiment he had long been obsessed with. And to defeat him, the army must track down the superheroes that Karatov created. Meanwhile, Karatov has set his sights on raiding army warehouses to steal vehicles and resources to further his dangerous experiments. The Ministry of Defense makes the decision to resurrect the Patriot organization, appointing Major Lorena as the head of the newly formed superhero team, which will be called the Guardians. Their mission is to investigate supernatural stories and rumors, scouring the globe in search of individuals with extraordinary abilities. Their first stop is in Armenia where they seek out Lair, who lives as a recluse in a hidden temple. Initially resistant, Lair changes his mind when he learns that Kuratov, who wronged him in the past, is still alive. The team travels to western Kazakhstan to find Khan, who is meditating in the desert. As they approach in armed vehicles, Khan uses his super speed powers to move undetected and swiftly kills the agents with his curved swords. Only after seeing Lair, he stops and agrees to join forces with him. The team heads to northern Siberia to find Arsus, who transforms into his beast form and fights off enemies approaching him. Recognizing his old friends, Arsus agrees to help them seek revenge. Their fourth member is in Moscow. Ksenia is a renowned performer using her powers to perform underwater. When Khan approaches her in her dressing room, she attacks him and later Lair, but is persuaded by Arsus to join their cause despite that she doesn't remember them. They explain that they are all loners with superpowers who haven't aged in 40 years and that they share a common goal of finding out who who did this to them. While Karatov is busy creating his own clone army to carry out his evil plans, the Guardians regroup at Patriot headquarters. Ksenia reveals her mysterious past to the team, explaining that she was discovered near Sevastopol in 1978 with no memory of her past, except for her name which was engraved on a ring she had with her. Over time, her unique abilities became apparent, including the power to become invisible in water, have thermoresistant skin, and regulate her body temperature in any condition. As the team discusses their next move, Lorena's team reports that they have found Karatov's command center in Junkyard. The team decides to organize a surprise attack, but as they approach the site, they discover that their communication signals are being jammed. The team splits up to launch their attack from multiple flanks. Thanks to the raining, Senya becomes invisible and walks in without a care. However, their plan is foiled when she encounters guards who are wearing special goggles that allow them to detect Xenia's body temperature, and they quickly immobilize her with freezing weapons. Although Arsus and Khan try to fight off the guards, they are caught off. Khan is hit by a paralyzing dart, while Arsus is trapped in an unbreakable net. Lur uses his skills to create a small earthquake and covers his body with rocks to fend off the guards inside the building. However, when Kuratov appears, Lair attacks him, but his rocks prove ineffective. Kuratov quickly overpowers him and breaks his back. In a few minutes, Kuratov imprisons Lur, Khan, and Arsus in a force field cell, explaining that he had expected their arrival and armed his soldiers according to their vulnerabilities. Kuratov offers the Guardians a chance to join forces with him, giving them 24 hours to consider his proposal. Arsus, armed with a knife, attempts to fight back, but the force field stops him. 
Kuratov seizes the tanks and prepares to launch his invasion. The city plunges into chaos, as news reports indicate that the army is unable to control the situation. Kuratov has stolen a space transmitter, and his plan is to use it to connect the Ostankino Tower and the Federation Tower in order to launch his Module 2 project. New project aims to control all technology on Earth by transmitting a signal to the Russian satellite, which will subsequently give Kuratov access to all other satellites. Meanwhile, Lorena rescues Lair and takes him back to headquarters. Soon after, Lorena is surprised when an unexpected visitor shows up. Victor, Kuratov's former lab partner. Everyone thought Victor had died, but he reveals that he has been in hiding and only re-emerged upon seeing Kuratov on the news. Victor knows they need his help to stop Kuratov, and he immediately starts working on healing Lair. Victor also shares the location of Kuratov's secret lab where the remaining Guardians are being held captive. The team sneaks into the lab and swiftly takes out the guards, freeing the Guardians from their imprisonment. Despite the success of their mission, Khan feels humiliated after his defeat and quietly slips away from the team. As Kuratov continues to relocate his towers throughout the city, Lorena engages in a conversation with Arsus at headquarters. Arsus expresses his concern for Xenia, whom he has been keeping a watchful eye on for quite some time. During the war, Arsus and Xenia fled together, but when he saw her again eight years ago, he discovered that she had no memory of their time together. Fearing that he might scare her off, or that his transformations might cause harm, Arsus has kept his distance from her ever since. However, Arsus now worries that his beastly transformations are becoming more intense and wilder, and that he may eventually become trapped in his animal form forever. Lorena assures him that they will find a cure, and that Victor is the brilliant scientist, and he is working on it. Meanwhile, Victor is studying Kuratov's clones in a secret laboratory when he is suddenly discovered by Kuratov himself. Kuratov accuses Victor of betraying him to work alone, and swears that he will show the world who the true genius is. Kuratov activates the lab's traps, releasing a deadly gas that kills Victor. After successfully activating the space transmitter with the towers, Kuratov is met with opposition from Patriot system. In a desperate attempt to stop him, Patriot sends out fighter jets to intercept Kuratov's plan. However, Kuratov's army robots prove to be too powerful for the jets causing them to crash all over the city. Witnessing the chaos from atop a building, Khan confides in Lorena about his troubled past. He had once idolized his brother, a skilled fighter, but eventually felt overshadowed and unimportant. Seeking to prove himself, Khan agreed to be Kuratov's guinea pig and gained incredible powers. Tragically, he lost control and unintentionally killed his brother in a fight. Lorena expresses her condolences, but also reminds Khan of his duty to protect the city with his newfound abilities. After reuniting, the Guardians are informed by Lorena that new suits and weapons have been designed to better suit their unique abilities. Arsus receives a powerful cannon, which is integrated with his nervous system and can automatically detect and lock onto targets based on his aggression. When Arsus transforms into full beast mode, the cannon switches to automatic mode for maximum firepower. Khan's new suit offers full protection against physical harm, including bullets, blades, and tranquilizer darts. Additionally, a harpoon and reinforced rope have been installed on his spinal area for added versatility. Lair's suit allows him to control rocks using a special whip that converts his telekinetic powers into electromagnetic impulses, while Xenia's suit grants her the ability to turn invisible at will and can even make objects she touches disappear with her. After training with their new weapons, the team hatches a plan to disable the force field surrounding Kuratov's towers. They have only one hour to prevent a catastrophic attack. While Lair sneaks into Kuratov's work area via the subway tunnels and takes out the guards with ease, Arsus and Xenia engage in a street fight that quickly escalates. Xenia is forced to retreat and hide, but Arsus fully embraces his beast mode and defeats the guards effortlessly. Finally, Xenia rides Arsus to meet with Lair at the mall. Khan, accompanied by a skilled pilot, approaches the towering structure by air. However, they encounter a barrage of attacks from the military AIs, making it difficult to get close enough to jump. Meanwhile, on the rooftop of a nearby mall, Arsus, Lair, and Senya begin traversing the numerous iron bars that support Kuratov's tower. Suddenly, the guards on a parallel bar open fire, causing Arsus to lose his balance. Lair acts quickly using his whip to create a protective shield. Seeing his friends in trouble, Khan decides to take action. He takes a daring leap using a grapple line and swiftly slices the bar the guard's standing on, causing them to fall down. At Kuratov's lab, Lorena finds Victor who is barely alive. He reveals to her the secret that the Guardians can transfer their powers to one another, which can increase their strength exponentially. However, Kuratov feared the potential dangers of this power and had disabled Lair. The energy transfer is incredibly risky, and even the slightest mistake could be fatal. The Guardians infiltrate the tower and quickly knock out the guards before locating the generator. They weigh their options on how to disable it, but Senya takes matters into her own hands and uses her body heat to short-circuit it. The pain is excruciating, but her sacrifice pays off as the force field around the tower's top is deactivated and Arsus pulls her away from generator. 
The army is ready to start bombing, but Lorena convinces them to wait while guardians ascend to the top of the tower to confront Kuratov. Unfortunately, the battle doesn't go in their favor. Kuratov easily disables Arsus's cannon and Lair's whip. Xenia manages to dodge Kuratov's attacks and uses her power to make Lair invisible, allowing him to use his whip once again. They capture Kuratov with the whip, but he quickly frees himself with a powerful shockwave that sends them all flying. Kuratov targets Xenia next, causing Arsus to abandon his cannon and unleash his inner beast mode. But Kuratov is too powerful, and he knocks Arsus out with a single punch. The army, unable to wait any longer, sends vehicles to destroy the area, but Khan spots a plane and uses his grapple line to evacuate all the guardians. However, Kuratov's powers cause the plane to lose control, and Khan is forced to cut the line and release the guardians into the river below before the plane crashes. Despite Kuratov's best efforts to stop them, the guardians manage to concentrate their powers and destroy the tower, causing Kuratov to meet his demise. News reports claim that the city has been saved, but the cause of the supposed terrorist attack remains unknown. Lorena thanks the Guardians for their help. They promise to return if needed, but plan to go back to their ordinary lives. And before they leave, Lorena tells the Guardians that more Guardians have been found. Later that night, two men stop a van from which Lorena comes out. The situation quickly escalates into a fight with Lorena managing to overpower them. Before going to his forefathers, Man reveals that they were sent by a mysterious individual named Ferrum. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.